Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and yes I renamed my channel before it used to be The Road Home and now it's Dennis Davidov so it's all about my lifestyle and my hobby is motorcycling as well and this is wonderful motorcycle Honda VTX 1800C the main bike that I use, I like it a lot but I have to solve some of the problems before season 2022 and I have the coolant leak probably from the radiator so today I'm gonna troubleshoot this problem together with you let's go so here's basically the problem itself here we have the radiator and we have some of the drops around here clearly the coolant it's a reddish color and to find out I need to remove this cover of the radiator and check the points where it could leak potentially I think it is leaking from the linkage between the radiator from the fixing points uh, between the radiator and the frame itself We are now under the motorcycle, so you can clearly see uh, the drop here on the coolant. And we have the drop over here, also coolant. And what can I see? This thing is wet over here, so it's not leaking from the hose or something. So the problem lies a little bit up. Uh, so I need to get rid of this fairings and all of the stuff to get access to the radiator itself and here's the radiator it's a little bit dirty as you see wow. that's gross all right guys so here's our radiator and i removed the coverage it was so very easy so here we have two bolts that connect uh, this radiator frame of a radiator with the frame of motorcycle itself so here is a very dry connection but here as you may see hope you can so here is wet connection so we have a drop over here so obviously I'll start the motorcycle right away just right now but i think we have the some sort of crack there so the coolant is just leaking over here yeah guys as you see this motorcycle is a little bit dusty <laughs> because it was in a winter storage so i'll clean it up later on firstly i need to fix it and let's start the engine I guess I think it was uh, it was understandable that we have the broken radiator right here and I need to weld it to send it to welder because the new radiator uh, is not available here in Ukraine so I have to wait several probably weeks or months so it's better maybe to weld it uh, because I have some of the guy I have the mate who is doing this kind of job so probably send this radiator to him i know where it's leaking from and it's good right to continue my job with the, the radiator removal firstly i need to drain the coolant so i have to remove this engine cowling to get access to the coolant drain bolt let's do it <music> Guys, I removed this big cowling here and probably it's not the engine cowling but the gear cowling here is the gearbox because it's the road that connects the pedal to the gear selector itself there's the drive to the shaft drive and here we have this tiny little bolt it's there here we go but firstly what I understood what I read is we need to remove the fuel tank first because we need to get access to the cup out there I need to open it probably can partially see it over here I'll zoom it in 
here is the cap so we need to open it there and after that only we need to drain the coolant well i don't really like the procedure of the fuel tank removal on the vtx because here is there is no any valve so here's the pipeline goes straight away from the fuel tank so then you disassemble fuel tank the fuel starts to leak and you cannot do anything with it so you need just to plug it with your thumb or something and get your canister ready to drain the fuel straight away from the fuel tank yeah it's dusty all right even before going to the fuel tank we have to remove the seat to get access to the main bolt that actually holds the fuel tank on the back so here we have two of the bolts that hold the seat here very easy to access them from this direction and here we need to remove the seat and we'll have the access to the battery to the other wires and systems of this motorcycle but we need to have the access to this big bolt that holds the fuel tank okay this is the big bolt over here so we use the 10 millimeter head from this side and we'll just secure the bolt from this side and we'll just remove this here so long and thin bolt we have now we need to remove those one two three bolts that keep this plastic chrome panel on its place you see it's already shaking here and now we need to remove this cap and just remove the panel itself uh, there's some of the wires all right i'll just keep it like this for a while all right now you can move the fuel tank a little bit but there are some of the hoses that keeps it uh, on its place so firstly we need to remove this big hose to drain the fuel and that's the most tricky procedure the fuel spillage will occur there is no any doubt about it because it's the honda vtx oh my god it spills everywhere so do not smoke then you're doing then you're going through this procedure oh my god it's very terrible how they done why there is no any valve ah okay I spilled the uh, fuel all over the place now i have to remove uh the fuel tank there are some of the hoses uh there so i just <laughs> need to remove them also guys if you don't know what hoses you will never uh, do mistakes because they are on their positions so just go and remove them then you'll place them back on again with no any issues so there are three of them every hose goes on its unique place and no worries if you don't know them if you don't know where to put them back from this position done very easily and yeah that's what we have to do <laughs> remove the fuel tank itself all right everything of that we've done just to open this cap over here all right this is the coolant cap nice so guys uh, there is the bolt around there so i need to unscrew it i lose i use this long extension and it's dripping it starts to drip all over the place okay just let it be like that for a while still a lot of coolant inside and it's a good sign and it's clean it's also a good sign 
We also have some coolant in this tank, so I'll have to open this cover and drain it as well. So you see my friends, doing the maintenance on MERS cycles is not an easy thing. If you want to access one system, you have to remove the other system. For example, here we remove the fuel system to get access to the coolant drain, right, to get access to this cap over here. So it's very, very complicated, it could be complicated sometimes. Great. It's very, very compact. That's why you have um, some limited access to all of the motorcycle systems. Uh, as we have here, for example. All right. Down from one side. It is not very clean here, so I'll take it home to clean to wash from inside. All right, guys, we are under the radiator again. So here's the hose uh, with the coolant. I drained the coolant, but just in case I put the reservoir here to drain it again if something left here. And here's the temperature indicator that goes to the fan just disassemble actually not a good place uh, for temperature indicators or temperature sensors oh my god how to do it all right we've done it and not a good place for this hose either because it's the lower part of the motorcycle there is no any plates for the protection and you can simply hit and actually I hit it here, <laughs> uh, this part, and it's alloy or aluminum, and you can simply crack it, damage it, and your ride will be over. Alright, here on top of radiator we need to remove this hose there and this bolt. Alright, good. And as you see, this construction just started to play. Um, two of the hoses keeping it uh, secured on the motorcycle. And now I have the access here to remove uh, the fan, uh, the cooling fan. And after I remove it, I would remove the radiator itself. Just disassemble the fan from the radiator. Indeed, it is disassembled. Uh, what's about the bottom? Oh my god, this fan. I'll put it there somehow. Oh, shit, some of the liquid still there. This is our radiator, my friends. It's kind of big and very dirty. So you see what you need to do to remove it, actually to disassemble all of, uh, <laughs> half of your motorcycle. Uh, so here we have uh, this part. We have the link, the leak from this link. And actually, there is the rubber thing that used to, you know, absorb these shocks. It's still in good shape. I see the rubber is good, so I still wonder why we have the leak over here. Probably the metal there is very, it's kind of thin. So it's the second time I have the same problem with the VTX radiators. So tell me, my friends, if there are any kind of... Uh, radiators, <laughs> tuning radiators, or maybe uh, aftermarket radiators that I might put on my VTX because this problem just 
drives me mad and yeah I'll pass this radiator for the guy who would probably weld it but who knows who knows probably I need to buy the new one the new one is very expensive oh yes I'm really happy that I was able to remove this radiator on my own because I'm not a professional mechanic and I used to be on airplanes on small airplanes and I was really young now I am a pilot and by the way I have the other channel it's called the pilot blog I have many subscribers there many views so I'll put the link to this video for you to check it out for this motorcycle I just hope to put everything back on successfully then I'll have my radiator welded or maybe I'll need to buy the new radiator I would say the bigger motorcycle is the more difficult it is to have the maintenance on this kind of big bikes big and sometimes expensive motorcycles and that is why I'm planning to buy one more bike yes one more bike in my collection and it is very cheap motorcycle it's just 150 cc and I want to go on a trip on a long trip on that motorcycle probably to Turkey because you'll have low fuel consumption and low maintenance cost what else do you need guys I just hope that you like this type of videos because I do I like to film about what I love and motorcycles is the great part of my life motorcycles traveling aviation of course family I will not film about the family because it's kind of private but motorcycles you may find on this channel as well and as usual follow the awesome guy checklist first just like this video after that subscribe to my channel finally just ring the bell whatever it means thank you very much for watching this video have a great time